Bristol Rugby fell to a second successive defeat of the pre-season campaign, this time at the hands of Exeter Chiefs. The Aviva Premiership outfit made light work of the visitors' defence, scoring eight tries at Sandy Park. Andy Robinson gave Ross Johnson, Cannon Braley and Jason Hobson their first runouts ahead of the new campaign, but it was Exeter who controlled the proceedings. After Henry Slade had struck a penalty goal from the angle, Ben White scored the first try of the afternoon inside 10 minutes. The flanker bundled his way over from close range while Slade slotted the extras in front of the post. And the oppressive fly half struck again soon after, capitalising on an overlap to stretch over before converting his own try. added a third try when Fatuu Vainakulu beat George Watkins on the outside to muscle his way across the whitewash. The procession of tries continued in the first half as Andy Robinson's men struggled to stem the flow of attacking pressure. First, Tom Johnson showed why he has England caps under his belt, powering through several defenders to crash over. On the stroke of half-time, centre Phil Dolman cantered through a gaping opening to fly over and heap the misery on Bristol. Slade's conversion meant the visitors trailed 36-0 at the break. Bristol rang the changes at half-time, but it was Exeter who continued in a similar vein to the opening 40 minutes. Henry Slade slid over for an unconverted try, rounding his marker, after slick hands from the Chiefs' back line. Replacement scrum half Stu Townsend was next to cross as Exeter extended their advantage to 46-0. Stua Otto ensured Bristol did get on the scoreboard when the Samoan grabbed a consolation score, racing through the midfield to dab down. final say of the afternoon as Tom James collected his smart chip ahead to cross a whitewash and condemn Bristol to a 51-7 defeat. So before returning to Sandy Park in three weeks time for the championship opener, Bristol must turn their attentions to Clifton Rugby Club in the final pre-season game before the real business begins.